Say what you like, but AI assistants don't always get things right. When ChatGPT fails, I use Gemini. When it fails, I use Bang. And when it fails, well, I do it myself. All chatbots are different, and it's always better to cherry pick the best bits from all of them and get a perfect result. With ChatHub, I can chat simultaneously with up to six AI assistants at the same time. Let me show you how it works. ChatHub is a browser extension that works on all Chromium-based browsers like Chrome, Edge, Brave, etc. You install it from the extension store, and it opens in a separate tab. What instantly surprises me is the amount of AI assistants that ChatHub supports. In the menu on the left, I can pick anyone and chat directly with it. For ChatGPT or Gemini, this may not be that relevant, but when it comes to lesser known AIs like Mextral or Yi, it's far easier to access them with ChatHub. And as you see, my default layout shows me responses from six chatbots simultaneously. And I've selected the ones I think could give us the most interesting results. Here I have ChatGPT 4.0, Mextral 8 times 22 billion, Claude Sonnet, Gemini, Perplexity, and Llama 3. If I want to replace one chatbot with another, Another, I can just click on its name and choose the one I like from the drop-down list. Down to the left, you can see five buttons that allow me to change the layout. ChatHub lets me choose from having two, three, four, or six AI side by side. Personally, I prefer having the most options, so the three by two layout is my choice. To see three or more AI side by side, six in my case, you would need a premium membership. And I urge you to get it to use ChatHub to its full potential. You can get ChatHub with a one-time payment or with a super cheap subscription that's worth every penny. To start chatting, all I do is type in my prompt. Who is or was the tallest person in the world? Then I just hit enter. While chatbots are doing their thing, I want to know how easy it is to use ChatHub. It's a perfect way to see how different chatbots tackle the same tasks and then choose the response you like the most. Because some AIs are better at one type of thing, while other AIs at something else, and you don't want to jump between tabs, copy the same prompts, and hope for the best. Okay, let's look at the results, starting with ChatGPT. Its response is very short and on point. I asked about a certain person, it gave me only the info I asked for. Nothing else. Now, Mextral and Llama, on the other hand, are much more talkative. They not only included more information about the person in question, but also explained how Robert Wadlow grew so tall. Perplexity is a bit more modest, but in a way it answered the question quite poorly. Perplexity suddenly decided to just ignore the past tense and give me the tallest living person. And Gemini straight up refused to give out personal info, like a name is all that personal. Claude's sonnet is great as always. What I like about its response is the information it provides. Cleverly written, readable, great response all around. Since I phrased the question was or is, the AI correctly interpreted that I could mean both the current record holder and the tallest person from the past. Lama's response from the way it's written seems a bit more emotional and human-like. I like that. Just with one simple question, we can already see how different AI tackle the same prompts. This multi-chatbot output ensures information accuracy for cross-referencing, which single chatbot prompts could not support. But let's not stop there and ask, who is the most popular YouTuber right now? This one tests whether the chatbots can access the web. Let's look at the answers. ChatGPT says it's Mr. Beast, which is 100% correct. Claude says the same thing, but with a bit more info. It also lists a few other people like PewDiePie. Gemini once again decided to give a somewhat nonsensical response with a long disclaimer. Llama actually completely forgot about Mr. Beast. It successfully Googled the question and concluded that T-Series is the most popular YouTube channel and PewDiePie is the second most popular channel. Bad response, zero stars. Perplexity is once again on point and only gives the top one position, Mr. Beast. But next role is unable to provide us with the correct answer, which is really sad. But where comparing AI chatbots really comes in handy is when it comes to creative things. More chatbot responses means more sources of creativity. Let me show you. Please suggest me 10 business names for a store that sells cat litter only. Each AI has generated a list of names. I don't really want to go too deep into the suggested names because all of them sound really similar. Some of them even repeat across different models. I want to highlight Llama because it not only gave me the names, but also explained what is the meaning meaning behind each one. What I also like about ChatHub is the ability to create my own prompts. If I click here, I can open up a prompt library. To add a new prompt, I just hit 
create new prompt, type in its name and the prompt itself, and it's done. It's that easy. Where I can always access the community prompts for even more functionality. Just look how many prompts there are. SEO prompts, essay writers, code and assistance, and so on. To use the prompt I just created, I click use, and it instantly appears in the input window. With this prompt, I'm gonna ask chatbots to write an essay about Titanic in a convoluted style of 18th century England. And from the responses I see, it's clear that the task definitely tests the creative limits of each AI. All models have different opening lines. Some start with the story itself, some like perplexity, make it look like a newspaper article of sorts. Personally, I can say that I like the storytelling approach of Llama the most, but it's pretty coherent and concise throughout. ChatGPT perplexity and mixed rules sound super bleak and generic. Even though they try to replicate the all writing style, they don't really succeed. And it's super easy to see little bits they used to make the essay sound like something from the 1800s. Gemini, however, is definitely the best one. It's written in exactly the way I was expecting, with all the weird words like gnashing and gaiety and so on. A Leviathan of the seas, they call her, this Titanic, a modern marvel of iron and steam, a testament to man's dominion over nature. Now tell me this isn't a perfect 18th century essay. If I didn't have six chatbots side by side, I wouldn't have even thought about the huge difference in responses that different AIs give. ChatHub, despite being a relatively simple extension, has proven to be very effective and useful. I see it as especially useful for those of you who don't really trust one AI and want to see all possible answers. And it is a free extension, so you're not spending any money to get all of these features. And don't forget that for full feature access, you'd need a premium access, and it's probably the best way I've spent my money this month. I will leave a link to ChatHub in the description. Thanks, ChatHub, for sponsoring this video, and be sure to check it out.